Search Basics. There are three search techniques that if you can master when and how to use these techniques, you will go about 95 to 99 percent of the way to becoming an expert searcher. Now certainly there are lots of other things involved in doing academic level research, but as far as searching, as far as what you type into a search box, these three search techniques will be pretty much all you'll need in most cases. So let's start with an example topic, uh, prescription drug abuse among teens. And let's just try for argument's sake. It's not something that I would recommend, but we'll just type that sentence right in there. Prescription drug abuse among teens. And we'll, we'll see what happens. Now this is not going to be a very accurate or uh, relevant set of results, but it does get us some results. But let's try uh, using some of these search techniques. Now search technique number one is the use of the logical connector of the word and. So you use the word and in between each of your different keywords or concepts. So in this case we have prescription drugs or drug abuse or prescription drug abuse which might be considered one concept and the concept of the teen or the teenager. So instead of among, let's just try typing in and as a way to combine those sort of two basic concepts, prescription drug abuse and teens. And let's see what happens. Okay, now that got us more results because the word among is a little nebulous and and the computer recognizes that as a connector and it's searching for prescription drug abuse as one concept and teens as the other. Now the second search technique is more powerful but it's, you also have to be a little careful about when to use it and that is the use of double quotes when you want to search for an exact phrase of two or more words. So a couple rules of thumb as far as using double quotes. Number one is you, you never have to use double quotes around a single word. Um, but if you want to search for an exact phrase, in other words, two or more words, um, as you type them, you want them to show up in the results. As you type them, you enclose that phrase in double quotes. So we can try prescription drug abuse and enclose that entire three word phrase in double quotes. And let's try it. So that's telling the, the search engine that it only wants results to contain the words prescription, drug, and abuse right next to each other in that order. And then also somewhere else in the article I'll have the word teens. Let's try that search. Now this is going to be a much more specific search because it's searching for the exact phrase. As you can see, we got down to 4,000 results. So that is search technique Number two. Now the, the downside to double quotes before I move on is that you only want to use double quotes around commonly used phrases. So do be careful of that. You don't want to use it around every phrase you can think of, but only those phrases where you think there's a possibility that the the best results or the majority of the, the authors writing about it are using that particular phrase because if you use the wrong phrase you may miss out on some important results. So that's search technique number two. Search technique number three is actually more of a philosophy of searching and that is that searching is really a, 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 an evolutionary process. It's a matter of mixing and matching the different words and phrases that you've hopefully come up when you brainstorm about your topic and combining them in different ways to see what works. Because very often the words and phrases that we have in our mind may be very different than the words and phrases that an author uses to describe and write about the topic. So let's try some mixing and matching. Instead of teens, let's try for example maybe teenagers or maybe even adolescents. And we could, for example, try instead of prescription drug abuse, we could pres try prescription drugs and drug abuse, two different phrases, and then combine those and try a variation on that search using different concepts. And then we can then go through these results and combine the best results from several different searches because very often, more often than not, you'll need to um, try several different searches to find the best results on any topic. 
And that is the basics of searching.